GeoPlanner for ArcGIS is a modern web GIS application that supports a collaborative and iterative approach to planning and design. On the first day of the SOMA workshop, the 60s participants were divided into 10 groups. Each group was assigned one of 10 major issues that would influence future designs for SOMA City. These issues included ecological impact, radiation risk, commercial attractiveness, and so on. Let's take the team addressing high-density housing as an example. When team members fire up the GeoPlanner application, they see that it is pre-configured with a weighted raster overlay surface for use as well as all the appropriate land use types for sketching development proposals. GeoPlanner also allows team members to discover and use the complete library of GIS datasets curated by the SOMA city government to help them better understand the site context. With the objective of identifying areas most suitable for high density housing developments, Team 10 uses GeoPlanner's weighted raster overlay capability to create an evaluation model based on a combination of criteria. In this case, distance from railway stations, distance from medical facilities, distance from primary schools, and distance from bus stops. Once the criteria are chosen, the relative importance, or weighting, of each factor is set. And the weighted overlay model will be calculated on the fly. It is very easy to adjust and refine the model. For example, we can increase the importance of distance from medical facilities, or even fine-tune its distance criteria such that anywhere within one kilometer of a medical facility is all treated as most desirable. Once we have the evaluation model, we could start creating various high-density housing development proposals. Using simple drawing tools, while being informed by the evaluation model and the real-time dashboard, team members create proposals suitable for the objective. By the end of day one, the team decides on a final evaluation model and 10 or so rated development proposals to be shared with the rest of the SOMA Workshop ArcGIS Online organization. These artifacts form the basis for the next day's workshop. On day two, the participants are reorganized into six new teams. These six teams are to create change plans aiming at particular social objectives, such as smart shrinking towards a compact city, maintain and rejuvenate traditional lifestyles, to maintain population by attracting commuters of neighboring cities, and so on. Let's look at how this team leverages GeoPlanner to develop change plans with an objective to maintain and rejuvenate traditional lifestyles. As team members open the GeoPlanner project on day two, they find that the project already comes preloaded with all of the evaluation models and associated development proposals shared by each of the 10 evaluation teams at the end of day one. For their specific objective, team members begin by turning on the evaluation model made by the ecological and cultural heritage team from the previous day. They can easily start to visualize the combination of different development proposals to create a comprehensive change plan by simply switching the layers on and off in the table of contents. Once the team finds a combination that they'd like to evaluate, they can merge them into a single change plan by using GeoPlanner's Scenario Importer. This new change plan can be easily overlaid against each of the evaluation models by using GeoPlanner's dashboard. A dashboard can be configured to include a performance indicator relative to each of the evaluation models from the previous day. After evaluating the change plans, team members might want to make changes or create alternatives for consideration. GeoPlanner makes this iterative approach simple. We can easily duplicate a change plan, delete certain features, create new features, and even change existing features to arrive at an alternative change plan. By the end of day two, each team selects a final change plan to be presented to the workshop participants. Similar to the artifacts created during day one, the teams promote their respective final change plans by sharing them to the SOMA workshop ArcGIS Online organization. The final day of the workshop is dedicated to presenting the final change plans to an audience of stakeholders for review and discussion. With all the artifacts in a single GeoPlanner project, it becomes very easy to compare the different change plans and their respective performances. We can see the plans with or without the underlying evaluation model, 
side by side, or we can focus on looking at the metrics. We can also compare multiple change plans simultaneously using GeoPlanner's consensus tool. This tool helps to quickly visualize the areas where respective land uses are in agreement or in conflict. Here we can see highly contested areas of land use shown in red, and areas where there is a strong consensus shown in green. And because GeoPlanner is part of a modern web GIS platform, artifacts created in GeoPlanner can be used by many other powerful ArcGIS applications including the newly available ArcGIS Pro with its integrated 2D and 3D GIS capabilities. And City Engine, where procedural rules can be applied to quickly generate 3D visualizations of proposed changes, as well as many other web applications such as the new 3D Web Scene Viewer or Story Map, which can be easily customized to provide a branded website for effective public engagement.